All right. Uh, special guest, Reptile. There you go. Sack, what's his name? Sack North? Right. There you go. There are chicks on Twitter right now that are literally like wanting to like Reptile. Reptile. Reptile sitting there going, Hey, you wanna see my Godana? You wanna see my Goanna? <laughs> and these chicks on Twitter are like, Oh, just, just crocodile roll me, baby. <laughs> it's so sad. Anyway, so, uh, there's some, there's some drama that came out of Evo, which I want to talk about because it's not so much like, it, it's something I want to tell, especially to younger people out there, right? We have a whole generation of people that literally grew up on the internet, right? They grew up and they were raised with internet access like in the capacity that we have it now and even more even you know like more so now but it was definitely full-throated you know when they were coming into the world and understanding things right and what happens is is that you know i i'm 45 years old so i was there definitely before the internet started so i have the luxury as an elder god of mortal Kombat community To not get rattled. I have people coming in all the time. Right? Call me a racist. Probably a misogynist soon. You know? Because I didn't like how Tanya looked. No, I want Tanya to look hot. Is that okay? Is that alright? I get people coming in and go, Oh, that's not how women look. Why? What, what, every woman looks like she fell off the ugly tree and the, feet, and the tree fell on her? Is that how it is? It's a video game. It's a fantasy. Right? We don't, we, where, where's the where's the middle-aged balding fat dudes in Mortal Kombat? And don't don't roll out Bo Rai Cho, just like they do in Tekken with Bob. All right, you can't you know when it's not taken one. All right, there's got to be more than one, okay? Because that's not not all all men are built like that. If it can't be all women, it can't be all men either. You can see the paradox anyway. So what I want to talk about is the fact that at Evo Caboose and all the other MK community. And I say that because, like, you know, I'm a Mortal Kombat fan, right? I identify with MK fans, but I don't need, like, an online community as such. It's, does that make sense? Like, I don't, you know, like, I do my channel, right? I talk about what I love about fighting games. I love it, right? Mostly Mortal Kombat because it's my favorite. And then, and, and that's what I do. Like, you know, I don't need to be part of a group. To function. Okay. And the problem is though, is that along with the internet, we get shills. We get people who take advantage of the algorithm, who know how to do things, right? With clickbait titles, clickbait thumbnails, you know, and they stretch out a video for God knows how long, you know, at the at the very end they go, by the way, uh, yeah, we don't really know, even though the title says absolutely. <laughs> Right? So Caboose is at Evo, they're showing the new trailer, Ashra shows up, she goes, I'm Ashra! Right? And what happens? He goes, Devora! Now, I don't care. Right? I don't care he said it. Why would I? Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I can kind of see it, in a sense. But it also probably shows that some of these people probably started Mortal Kombat. At MK10. Maybe. Right? Like, you know, I'm so old, I started with MK original one. Right? Not the reboot one. Okay? So, I can easily identify characters, you know, even when they've been changed a bit. Like Lee May. Like, some people were sitting there, I think Max even was like, oh, is that, is that Melina? Right? No, no one cares. Like, it's just that, and like Max is, I think, slightly younger than me, I think, right? But he's not as invested in MK, I think, as, as say someone like me or whatever. Right? So, you know, but again, who cares? It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal, right? Now, this dude's apparently getting, being called a fake fan. He says, been making games and video games, uh, videos on NRS games for 10 years. 
run tournaments, we've combined $10,000 prize pools with several MK games, put every ounce of passion in my work, but I'm a fake MK fan because I mistook a character for two seconds, taking a break from this toxic platform for a few days, right? First and foremost is the internet, dude. Get over it. Doesn't matter, right? Who cares, okay? It doesn't matter, right? You don't think I don't get comments? I'm, I'm little, I'm little fry. In comparison, massive, massive, small fry. I'm like, like fleas, dickhead size compared to every single one of these, uh, you know, big MK community people, right? That's fine. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Hopefully, I will get there one day. I'd love to, right? I actually can't work a real work because I'm like my my. I have um. How do I put this? Uh, I. So I was abused as a kid, like quite heavily. And it actually makes it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to work work. I have worked in the past, but as I got older, it got worse and worse and worse. And then, um, you know, it was, it was pretty bad. Anyway, so the point is, though, that being able to create content for you guys is, and, and hopefully make it profitable one day, is what I want for me and my family, right? I don't care about fame. I don't care about any of that crap. I want to be able to provide. It's as simple as that, right? But I will not get there by forsaking any values or principles and become a massive shill in any degree, right? That's why I keep calling out shills because, you know, you never know where you stand with a shill. You don't know if they're just putting it on for show or they really mean it. And that's the problem with clickbait and shillery and all that sort of stuff. Now, we've got Max calling it out too. What if I told you dunking, bringing down other creators doesn't make you look better or bring success? It paints a bigger target on you for the next dunk. I agree with that. In my response to this, explain. This is the problem that we have with people. They sit there and they say dumb stuff like this and that's fine. He's allowed to say it. I don't care if people say whatever they want and think whatever they want. I've had people come to my videos telling me they love Tanya's design, you're a racist. I'm like, I don't care. I know I'm not. I've already explained myself in eloquent detail. So if you can't understand plain basic English, that's a you problem, not a me problem, right? But I let that stuff go off my back. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It's just whatever, right? So I got, I, I didn't find this. I got told about this in a stream and it stuck in my head because I thought, hang on a sec. So he's going to leave Twitter for a few days because people like trolls are making him somehow feel bad. But he had no problems posting this. Do we not see the contradiction? I 100% agree with what Max says. There are people out there who actively attack other people. Actively. Right? For no reason. For no good reason. I call out shills because I want honesty. It's as simple as that. Okay? I am not going to tow the line to get in a door so I can make more money. I cannot do that. I just cannot, cannot do that. Right? And some people do. But I can't do that. Because the only thing that I have, the only thing that I have that I can give you guys is integrity. If I fail myself, I will fail you eventually. And dumb stuff like this, which is he's allowed to have his opinion, flies in the face of sitting here going, well, some trolls call me a fake MK fan just because I got a name wrong. A, why does it bother you so much? B, I don't care that you got the name wrong. I don't care. Like, it doesn't bother me, right? It shouldn't bother you. If you've been doing this as long as you have, then why does it bother you? You know who you are. Have confidence and strength in who you are. It's as simple as that, right? His comment here, I was lucky enough to eat, uh, to hang out with the uh, tons of MK creators this weekend. And one thing I want to keep re reiterating is that there's plenty of food at the table for us all to eat. We should never try to tear each other down when there's room for everyone to succeed. Except, explain this. 
you know, I'll wait. So these people have a problem tearing down creators. But they don't have a problem tearing down the fans. This flies in the face. Again, he's allowed his opinion, right? I don't care if people find her attractive. It doesn't bother me. Look, it's a fictional character, right? But this is in direct violation of this. And then Max's comment, who, might I add, won't make a comment about that. Right? This is the problem. It's a big club, and I'm not in it. Thank God. Right? You cannot sit there and get this offended when putting out stuff like this. You can't. I'm sorry, you just can't. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. All right? I'd like, I'd, I'd love to see an explanation. I'd love to see an explanation telling me, as a fan, forgetting creator, right? As a fan of Mortal Kombat, why you're telling me to shut the F up because I don't like a fictional character's design, and then, when the shoe is on the other foot, you Turn tail and run away. Stand your ground. Tell them they're wrong and stupid and leave it at that. Okay? It's as simple as that. There is enough content. Absolutely. It's not just about Mortal Kombat 1. My channel is not... Even though I love talking about Mortal Kombat because of all the new stuff going on and stuff that's annoying me. I have other content on my channel that will build up over time to create an archive for people to hopefully enjoy, right? Everything from covering Mugen games to uh, reviewing fight stances, which I started, and reviewing character select screens and uh, showing off all the moves for a character from a specific game. And there is so much, like, so there's so much subcategories in my head that I can cover in fighting games. It's scary. And I love that because it means from one day to the next, I can go, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't care if I get like, you know, you know, one view. It doesn't matter. What matters is I'm enjoying the content. If I'm enjoying it and I'm happy about it and I'm honest about it, then hopefully, hopefully somebody else will. This is why I can't stand shills. You never know where you stand. You never know when they're telling the truth. And, you know, it's, it, you, know you can tell that it's all put on because they're trying to keep doors open. You will never see me being able to interview Ed Boone and ask him actual questions. You want to talk about a good community? A good community is, should be like a democracy. You should be able to talk about everything. You should be able to ask questions and say, Hey, why did you change this character? Why are you doing these to these things? Why is this? Why is that? But no, because that doesn't keep the doors open. The only reason why these people get where they are is because they keep greasing the wheels. And I cannot and I will not ever do that. On any game, on any channel that I do content for, because I've got other channels, right? I will never do that. All I have, hey baby, all I have is my word, right? Now, I don't, I'm not wishing ill will on this dude at all. All of these people are probably really nice, right? But let's be honest, they know how to play the game. They know how to play the YouTube algorithm, they know how to play the game, they know how to keep the doors open, okay? And a lot of people, not just with, with, with Mortal Kombat, in general, a lot of people get sick and tired of just, just fake, like false, fake stuff. They just want honesty. Right? Even if they don't like your opinion, I think people are mature enough to go, you know what? Okay, that's cool. And I respect it. I had a dude on my stream yesterday calling me out. He was a black dude. He said, oh, I like Tanya's design. What's your problem with it? You know, and we had a bit of a back and forth. 
cool dude. And I said to him, I said, dude, you're the type of people I want on my channel. I don't want just people loving what I do. I want people coming in and challenging what I do and saying to me, hey, why do you think this way, right? That's why I try and do my best to articulate things so that way people get a clear opinion, okay? We don't have to like everything that everyone says. Well, that's a weird concept for some of you young folk out there, but you don't, right? So, you know, and to Caboose, not that he's going to watch this video, uh, I say this with absolute love, get over it. Just ignore him, dude. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. You're all cool. You got your fans. People are going to love what you do. You're going to keep making content because you love that. You love gaming. You're excited about all that stuff. Maybe a little bit too excited. Right? Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Ignore it. Just travel through. Power through it. Okay? Everyone else does. Okay? Otherwise, when something serious does come up, it's going to be a problem. And like I said, is this a joke? Is this a joke? And he'll probably say, oh, oh it's just a joke, bro. It's just a joke, man. I was just having some fun. Also, maybe other people are having fun at your expense too. If you're having fun at MK fans' expense and Tanya fans' expense as a joke, and jokes are jokes, like, that's fine. I'm not going to cry myself to sleep over it. But then people are going to do it back. And you have to be aware of what you put out. I agree with Max. Dunking and bringing down other creators doesn't make you look better. But what about when these creators are dunking on the fans? What happens when the creators turn on the fans and tell them to shut the F up because they're having an opinion that the creator doesn't like? Where's the defense of the fans? That's what I thought. There is none. At least here, on this tiny ass channel, in some part of the internet, I will defend a fan's right to either agree or disagree and have them have the opportunity to say so and not have to deal with someone making them feel bad because of how they feel about something. And I'll give, what's that perm dude name's brusque, brisk, brisk, brisket, right? Brisket, right? I, I give nicknames to people. It's just what I do. I'm Australian. I'm crazy and I'm bald, right? Get over it, right? Brisket, I'll give him that opinion. I'll, I'll give, him a, give him a pat on the back when he said, you know, uh, people calling people racist because they didn't like Tanya's design. They say it's not a racist thing and he stood up for fans. I'll give him that. I think he's the only one I saw do that as far as like the big content creators go. Just my thoughts. Anyway, see you next time.